Hi, it's Elizabeth here. Um, so today I just want to share some thoughts on the second step to healing any problem, which is actually through the means of admitting your mistakes. So this is the second video that I'm doing in regards to this topic. The first video I did was um, based on forgiveness. So in a situation, um, you definitely want to give your, you want to forgive yourself for any mistakes that you made, but also forgive the other people that are in the situation. So when we are talking about admitting our mistakes, we are looking at the situation kind of from a third party point of view or maybe from an altruistic perspective. If you have a situation, whether it's from work, a relationship, maybe you're going through a divorce, can you look in the mirror and really admit everything that you've done or contributed to the problem? The reality is in relationships or any sort of problems, it takes two people to tango. So it takes two people to make a relationship work and it also takes two people to break a relationship. So admitting your mistakes actually takes a lot of inner strength and character and it's kind of a noble thing to do, um, especially because we don't want to always put blame on others and that's something that's really common today in society. For example, everything is expensive in society nowadays and we always want to blame other things. We want to blame the government, the corporations, but to some degree we don't want to take personal self-responsibility to look at our budget and to see how can we actually save money and live within the means of our income. So when we are talking about admitting mistakes, there are three kind of important, um, I don't know, lessons to be learned when admitting your mistakes. So the first lesson is that if you admit your mistake, hopefully you learn from it. And when you can admit and learn from your mistake, you not only grow as an individual with life experience, but you also grow your inner knowledge, your inner wisdom, and your character. So one example is if you cheat on a spouse, hopefully you learn from that mistake and you won't do it again. Unfortunately, a lot of people are in these kind of cyclical patterns where they keep making the same mistakes over and over and life will keep handing you the same lessons until you actually learn from the mistake and you apply the wisdom and the knowledge to not make that mistake again. Um, when you do admit and learn from your mistakes, it's almost kind of like a graduation process. You know, we go to undergraduate school when we get a degree and we go to a ceremony, then we go to grad school and we get a degree and we go to a ceremony. And so hopefully you can graduate from the past to a better equip your future. So the second lesson to admitting your mistake is that you can actually really build your relationships as well as strengthen your inner character. Admitting the things that you've done wrong comes from a very mature perspective in life and you actually can open up a very good communication line or a gateway because it makes people more comfortable to want to talk to you. You become more approachable, you become a reasonable person to deal with, and you're not the type of person that would make the situation or the problem one-sided and finger point and blame the other person because you can look at a situation from an empathetic point of view and just say, hey, yeah, you know what, you're right, I did do that, it, it caused some hurt feelings, I apologize, what can I do to make the situation better? And it overall just helps build better communication lines. So the third lesson to admitting your mistakes is that it actually shows respect. It shows respect not only for yourself, but for the other person and for the situation. It also shows respect in regards to how the other person is feeling. So that means you're not taking that person's feelings for granted and that you actually understand this person's point of view without putting the blame. Now, there are some life situations where the other person is just to blame for something. But basically, respect is something that's really missing in today's society. And the, the one thing is when you can have these open communication lines, just like I previously talked about with building the relationships, um, 
it starts to show a little bit more respect because it, it, it brings equality. It's like the scales of justice into balance. So we want to balance out what everybody's feeling on both sides of the party or the situation. The biggest thing that would kill, and it's kind of like a buzz kill for any relationship, is just constantly finger pointing and blaming the other person. So for example, if you're spouse or partner is ignoring you or is not that excited to see you anymore, you know, you can constantly blame them, but you know, what are you doing? Are you, are you being rude to the person? Are you not saying thank you? Are you um, ignoring their messages throughout the day or something like that? Are you always prioritizing work and putting the relationship last? So, you know, you have to kind of go through these questions to figure out what or why this is happening, but having respect for both parties, especially if this is like a group dynamic at a work, uh, in, in a work situation, you know that there's going to be so many different perspectives that we're going to have to balance. So these are just some brief thoughts that I've had. Um, feel free to look at some of the blog links that I have listed below in regards to this topic. And if you need a review of the first video on this topic, that is also below. But if you'd like please subscribe to this channel. The channel is new. I'm working on um, getting some new technology here, so the videos are a little more smooth. And thank you so much, and see you guys soon. Bye.